Sound, Mind, and Body is brought to you in part by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash inbound. You'll find over 180,000 titles to choose from and to listen to through your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. Support Sound, Mind, and Body by visiting audibletrial.com slash inbound. And welcome to Sound Mind and Body, a podcast where we talk about the many different ways to stay healthy, balanced, and well of mind, body, and spirit in today's crazy world with a dash of woo-woo. I'm your host, Sheila Melody, and I had the opportunity to interview Dr. Cheryl Selman recently. She is a naturopathic doctor, best-selling author, host of What Women Must Know podcast, an international lecturer who is dedicated to empowering and educating people on how to rejuvenate and regenerate their health. Dr. Selman has so many topics related to health that we can talk about, and I will be having her back for another interview specifically about hormones. But today we are focusing on electromagnetic frequencies or EMFs. You know, those frequencies that are invisible to us, but they are surrounding us on a daily basis. Your cell phones, iPads, computers, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth in our cars, smart meters, it's endless and it's only growing. In fact, I will be hosting a screening of a very important documentary, Generation Zapped, at my studio later this month. And if you can't see this important film, then listen to this interview and learn what we can do to protect our health because basically we are on our own. There is no government body that is tasked with the effects that EMFs have on our health. They are only protecting the business end of this technology so that the competition is equal. The rollout of 5G technology is happening. We cannot stop the growth now, and we all use these technologies and benefit from them. So let's learn about the effects they are having on our health and how to protect ourselves. So without further ado, here's my interview with Dr. Cheryl Selman. It's my pleasure to be here with you. Are you called Dr. Cheryl or Dr. <laughs> Selman? What do you prefer? <laughs> well, I'm going like... to tell you what my, what my father always said. Uh, he said, call me anything but late for dinner. So <laughs> anything goes, Sheila. <laughs> okay, wonderful. Well, I'm so happy to have you on the podcast. Thank you for taking the time. You have so many subjects that we can talk about, and I'm definitely having you back on. You're an expert in uh, women and hormones, and um, your next book is going to be about CBD oil, which is a very uh, interesting topic right now. And then also about this soul-searching journey at a resort in Costa Rica with ayahuasca, which is something I definitely want to talk with you about in the future. So such an interesting person. But today, we're going to focus on your knowledge and information about EMF, electromagnetic frequencies, how they're affecting us and what we should do about it. Explain to us just to begin, what exactly are EMFs? What are they caused by? I know some people may not readily know what exactly that is. Well, first of all, it's great to be on your show, and we have lots of uh, great things to talk about, so I look forward to future conversations. And, um, you know, the topic we're talking about today is a passion of mine. It's such an important topic. We really need to alert people. We need to understand more what's really going on because it has huge ramifications for our health, the health of our children, and the health of future generations. So you know, we'll start on this conversation and expand it so people really uh, can appreciate why this is an important topic and we need to pay attention. So let's talk about electromagnetic fields. When we talk about these fields, first of all, we need to understand that um, modern physics has kind of returned to what uh, Eastern knowledge has always understood, and that is the fact that the human body is fundamentally a coherent, 
highly sensitive electrical system emanating its mm-hmm. own electromagnetic field. So, so we have this field called a biofield. And it's an energetic field that is feeding information to us and, uh, you know, exchanging with life, with the universe. But even though the Earth has its own electromagnetic field, and that field actually is vital for the health of every living thing, the artificially created electromagnetic frequencies are man-made. These are the frequencies right. that, um, in, in actual fact, I just got a statistic off of uh, this documentary, Generation Zap, that I thought was really profound. In the last 10 years, the amount of exposure to these man-made electromagnetic frequencies has increased a quintillion times. That's one with 18 oh. zeros behind it. it. You know, when you think about it, in less than two generations, we are exposed to these man-made frequencies that have interpenetrated all of life. It's like 21st century smog. You know, we remember what L.A. was like, yeah. right? <laughs> when the smog right. and we've right. seen pictures right. of Delhi and Beijing. Well, that is, if we could see what is happening with the cell phone towers, with our cell phones, with our routers, with our echoes, with everything that's going on, it would look mm-hmm. like we were in dense smog 24-7. Oh so think about it. Never in the history of humanity have we been exposed to frequencies that are so pervasive. And not only that, these man-made frequencies, these microwave radiation frequencies admitted from all our devices are foreign to our own, not just our own biofield, they are foreign to our DNA. Because what I have found to be really fascinating, Sheila, is that not only do your cells have receptor sites, to frequencies. Your DNA, which is like a frequency resonator, you know, it's your DNA, which is you know, giving these instructions and, and d- determining how everything is working in your body and maintaining the structure has a uh, has an ability to detect frequencies. And when we are exposed to these foreign man-made Toxic frequencies, they impact mm-hmm. everything down to the DNA level adversely. You know, these, these frequencies that we love so much, you know, we've been yes, seduced right by, they're, right. they're invisible. You can't see them, smell them, taste them, feel them, unless you're one of the people that are electrosensitive. So electrohypersensitivity is a, acknowledge condition people who have mm. this compromised health okay so well, first of all we need to understand when we talk about electromagnetic frequencies we need to see them mm-hmm. as a toxic poison we need to see okay. it as a toxin all right because it is a toxic frequency it is not known by the body it causes adverse responses within our physiology and it has mm-hmm. damaging consequences but it's not just another toxin that we're exposed to, like the environmental toxins and, you know, you know, toxicity from stress or wherever, you know, we're getting these, these toxic exposures. It is a primary toxin. It is a toxin that exacerbates the harmful effect of all the other toxic exposures. Oh, so for dear. instance, it makes viruses more virulent. Look what's going on uh-huh. now with our uh-huh. flu epidemic. It makes viruses more virulent. It makes heavy metal toxicity more dangerous, more 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 toxic. It creates mm-hmm. um, heavy metals. The impact of the the adverse effect of, of heavy metals are exacerbated in the presence of EMF. It alters our wow. gut microbiome. It's impacting our hormones, which, yes, it does affect the thyroid. It does affect your ability to sleep. It does affect the stress responses and impacting your cortisol levels. It does affect estrogen levels. It does lower testosterone. And it alters your neurotransmitters, serotonin and dopamine, which causes all sorts of mood disorders. And we don't know it. We are, like, blissfully ignorant uh, getting the next, uh, you know, Fitbit, the next Apple Watch, the next Echo, 
And um, Mm -hmm. some of us choose to, but we're about to enter a stage where we have no choice over the exposure because we're entering what they call um, uh, 5G. This is the fifth generation, which is a bandwidth that uh, is going to allow faster and faster communication and for 30 billion potential devices to be connected to the Internet. You know, the cell phones have never had any pre-market testing for safety before they were introduced into the general population. None. Wow. None. So, you know, (laughs) we leaped into this, uh, you know, uh, EMF world, this Wi-Fi world, without any pre-market testing done. If there was adequate pre-testing market, it would never be allowed into the general population. But the horse is Mm -hmm. out of the barn. I mean, we, yeah. like you can't put it back. It's gone. Right. So, right. Uh, you know, we need to understand what's going on and, and what steps we need to do to protect ourselves in this new world that the body has not evolved really to live with. We are not designed. All of life is not designed to, to live with these man-made toxic frequencies that are perceived by every single cell as a toxic invader. Or not. Mm-hmm. So what happened? No, so, yeah. so, so there's a very um, a profound. Uh, I think he's a very profound man. His name is Doctor Professor Emeritus Martin Paul P A L L, mm-hmm. who I have mm-hmm. interviewed several times on my radio show. And Doctor Paul goes around the world explaining the exact mechanism that is occurring when you are exposed to these fields, and the mechanism without getting too technical, but the end result of exposure on a biochemical level in the body is that Mm -hmm. these fields generate high amounts of free radical damage. High amounts of free radical damage. So as free radical damage, when we have this also known as oxidative stress, when we are exposed to massive amounts of continuous free radical damage to every single cell, it leads to not only chronic illnesses, but it leads to DNA damage. It leads to DNA damage. So what he has found and what he has written about and his published studies have uh, discovered is that the DNA damage and the oxidative stress, which also uh, oxidative stress and inflammation kind of go hand in hand, and they are the Mm -hmm. precursors of all the chronic illnesses from cancer to diabetes to Alzheimer's to cardiovascular disease, you name it, it's all generated by inflammation, oxidative stress. And that's what he's Mm -hmm. found, that exposure to these fields are increasing the incidence of cardiovascular disease in people, of cancers. I mean, we already have seen a very alarming study come out um, by the National Institute of Health, that uh, nine-year study showing that there is ab- absolute evidence that exposure to cell phones causes um, uh, tumors in your brain and also tumors on your heart, which is really rare. Oh, my God. So that $25 million nine-year study, that was an impeccable study. But... Um, what what is happening so this we're driving ourselves we're driving the body to these chronic illnesses and exacerbating mm-hmm. all the other factors that make us vulnerable so cardiovascular disease cancers um um, um alzheimers uh, and dementia is now related to the oxida- oxidative stress caused from exposure mm-hmm. to cell phones which think about it right against your brain um it's yeah, increasing right. the it's a it's a factor in autism it's a it's affecting children it's affecting children with their learning disabilities it's affecting their concentration their ability to mm-hmm. um um, just um, uh, energetically, you know, focus. That's why many schools throughout Europe are removing Wi-Fi in schools. So these smart schools, which we're all very proud of, are actually dangerous places for young children to be. It impairs wow. their ability to yeah. learn and focus. And, and um, it in, it's increasing the incidence of infertility, which is a big problem in men and women. Oh, my goodness. So... Yeah. Um, you know, and, wow. and you, when you talked about children, what are the risks for children? Well, you know, we go all the way back to 
you know, pregnant women, you know, I've seen pregnant women on the phone. You see them, you know, with their laptops on their bellies. Well, studies right. have shown that exposure to EMS during pregnancy can alter the developing fetus's DNA adversely. Oh, oh my God. Think about it. I mean, it's logical, yeah, right, once it you understand this. Mm-hmm. You know, this is, a, this is, this is not... This is not a normal exposure of a energetic field that is harmonious with our bodies. Right, right. And there's no escape wow. any longer. Yeah, there is you know? no escape any longer. No, there is no escape. So, so what do we so, do? <laughs> so, so we'll talk about what to do, but you know what we need to understand, it's like we're all part of this grand experiment that's not going well. Sheila, right, and and yeah. because and because um, well, two things because we can't see it, feel it, smell it, taste it, we are blissfully unaware unless people listen to conversations like this and do their homework and watch Generation right. Zapped and and really get mm-hmm. educated because the industry has done everything in its power to keep everybody ignorant, right, including and including sponsoring industry studies that have shown no harm. Oh, my gosh. Isn't there a warning on your phone if you look at it right now, like there's a warning on there? There that is. Says, and when you go deep, you have to dive deep into yeah. all the information that you find on your, you know, the on, on your phones, whatever. You have to dive deep mm-hmm. because it's not readily available. But when right. you do, it clearly states, uh, you have to keep the phone, you know, like 10 centimeters away from your body because it can cause cancer. It says it right there. Uh, oh, my gosh. Of course, nobody looks at that stuff. It's like the, uh, well, you know. You no, know, it's it's buried. Yeah, the disclaimer. It's buried in They're all, all the information. There. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, so, um, yeah. you know, uh, you know, I meet the people. I meet the people who uh, are affected, who have cancers. I mean, I, I had a bookkeeper, and I, I was telling her about this information. She said, oh, my God, you know, my sister used to sleep with the phone under her pillow <gasps> for seven years because she wanted to be in touch with her kids, and she developed a brain tumor, yeah. had surgery, oh. chemo, radio, you know, suffered all along the way and oh. died. I said, oh, my oh God, my here, God, it's right in my awful. own office is somebody who has a story about it. But it's not just wow. the brain tumors. It's much bigger It's much bigger than the brain tumors, which we've heard about before. It's much bigger. It's much bigger because it is causing this huge amount of oxidative stress that the body is overwhelmed with and has no capacity on its own to quench these free radicals. So the scale is tipped towards the 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 dynamic in our body that's pushing us into chronic diseases, you know, impaired ability to 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 function, you know, mm-hmm. great amounts of inflammation and DNA damage. So that's why the modern day epidemic is exacerbated by the exposure to these fields. And the modern epidemic of cardiovascular disease, cancer, Alzheimer's, diabetes, infertility are all exacerbated by the exposure. And I'll tell you one other thing, Sheila, that's really in the news lately is importance of sleep, right? Right, so right. We we know that sleep is critical. I mean, that's such a hot topic. If you don't sleep, you can't detoxify your brain. So Alzheimer's and dementia is at higher risk. Mm. If you can't sleep, you can't manage your <laughs> your intake of carbohydrates. You crave carbohydrates. You put on weight if you can't sleep. You know, your immune True. system can't rebuild and repair if you don't get adequate sleep. You know, sleep is just vital. And mm-hmm. what one of the major symptoms of electromagnetic poisoning, I would say, is insomnia, mm. because the 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 uh, electromagnetic fields emitted from your phone is a frequency of light, and it stimulates the pineal gland. The pineal gland mm. is this little gland deep in the you know middle of your brain a light sensitive organ that regulates the production of melatonin your deep sleep hormone when you sleep right. in the presence of electromagnetic fields or light of any sort you uh-huh. are shutting down the production of melatonin why is that important because 
because melatonin not only is it your deep sleep hormone, but it regulates circadian rhythms that govern our waking sleeping cycle. It is a powerful destroyer of free radicals. And uh, of course, then it's, you know, it's having that impact on this growing amount of free radicals that, that we're experiencing. It also inhibits the release of estrogen and suppresses ah. uh, breast cancer. Suppresses oh it. melatonin. You know, that's there's a classic study that showed that night shift workers, uh, women night shift workers, had a higher incidence of breast cancer. Why? Because oh. they were not sleeping at night when they should be producing high amounts of uh, melatonin. And it also has the ability to increase the um, cytotoxicity, the strength of the immune system, and uh, all the 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 killer lymphocytes and um, counteracts the immunosuppression that happens under stress. So it's pretty important so to have melatonin. Like if, the phone, <laughs> if the phone is, I know, but it's like, it's a, okay, so if the phone is in your room, turned off, the screen is off, and it's in a drawer or something, is that still affecting your pineal gland? No, hand? Is no, it if still? you have it okay. turned off or in airplane mode. But remember, it's in light. airplane mode. You, you should always sleep in a totally dark room. You should always right, sleep. Right, right. I, 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 I've known I that. use a sleep yeah. mask. You know, I mean, even the the yeah. the, the light off your digital clock could, you know, it could, right. Could I got rid of my digital clock a while ago, but it's and and then what about the the like router and the Wi-Fi in your home? Yes, you turn that off is, at night. Yes. Well, or, you, definitely. First of all, you don't want to sleep with anything charging near your head. You know, oh, I mean, God. I, I, I mean, all these, night. yeah, yes, all these. I talk to all these people and all these kids. They're on their, they're on their phones. They keep their phones on. You know, sometimes they're, Ugh. they're on so they can get the text. You know, in the middle of the night and wake yeah, up and have a message. Right. I mean, you're not getting your deep sleep Ugh. cycles happening here. But oh my gosh! But, so insomnia yeah. is such a chronic problem now, which has so many implications to every aspect of our health. And one of the major causes of insomnia is exposure to these the Wi-Fi devices emitting these microwave radiation fields. Yeah. And so well, you I want to that. clear your sleeping space. And and well, and you know we'll talk about some there. of the protection that I found works really well and some of the strategies we can do. But uh, yeah, we need to really wake up to what's going on. We really um, need to appreciate the fact that um, there are definite steps that have to be taken to protect mm-hmm. us, protect future generations, and um, w- we need to find the strategies and the technologies that have the ability to help us deal with what's going on because it's only going to get more intense. On the next episode of Sound Mind and Body, I talk to weight loss coach and chiropractor, Dr. Christian Middleton of Viking Health, who tells how he came to name his company that and a very interesting story about when he first started practicing. Hollywood threw me a bone, if you will. I went out for this audition, which seemed so dorky and weird and crazy, but I acted. I ended up booking it after multiple auditions, and it was just suddenly I have a star wagon in Hollywood. And Do you want to sell the movie that you were in? Yeah, and don't hold me responsible for anything that happened in that movie, but yeah, it's a funny um, teenage movie called Dude, Where Is My Car? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, So for part of the day, I would be dressed in tight leather and sunglasses, and I was this Nordic alien gay dude. (laughs) And then uh, word got around that I'm also a chiropractor, so I started bringing my table into the Star Wagon. I would have other people, you know, part of the production team producers come in and get treatments, and I was Dr. Middleton's. I kept switching roles throughout the couple of months. (laughs) At the time, that was my most lucrative couple of months in my life. Hey, it's Tim Edwards with the Inbound Podcasting Network and producer of Sound, Mind, and Body. Just the fact that you're listening to the Sound, Mind, and Body podcast tells us that you enjoy consuming your content through your ears. Now, if you're a podcast listener, you're a perfect fit to enjoy audiobooks. So for you, our listeners, and official members of Sheila's Woo Woo community, 
Audible is offering you a free audiobook download and a free 30-day trial to check out their awesome service. Look, I'll be honest, I hate reading, always have. I'm a very slow reader, and I don't have the time to just sit down and read a book. So, like you, I've always loved consuming my content through listening. I've been an Audible customer for several years, and as a result, on average, consume about 20 to 25 books a year. In other podcasts the Inbound Podcasting Network produces, we've interviewed authors like Dr. Martin Gabala, who penned The One Minute Workout, and Dr. Sylvia Terra, who wrote The Secret Life of Fat. Both are very informative for those who are looking to get in shape and to stay in shape, and both are available with Audible. Give it a shot. You've got nothing to lose. It's absolutely free for 30 days, and you get a free audiobook to keep even if you don't continue with the subscription. Support Sound, Mind, and Body by visiting audibletrial.com slash inbound. That's audibletrial.com slash inbound. We'll include a link in the show notes or just click the Audible banner at soundmindbodypodcast.com. So we're back and talking to naturopathic Dr. Cheryl Selman about EMFs and the new smart meters used by most utility companies now. Well, they're they're like routers on steroids. Oh my gosh. You know, they're not just yeah. ordinary Wi Fi devices. These so let me just say the smart meters have been rolling out for many years now. Um, unless mm-hmm. you opt out before it's installed on the they will take out your analog meter to measure electricity and install the smart meters without your permission they'll go onto your property and you know you don't even know it's been changed out and unless you want that to stop or or not to go forward you must uh call your utilities company and opt out ahead of time so here i live in oklahoma uh, you know, they've mandated the rollout of these, um, of these smart meters. And if you do not want a smart meter on your house, you have to, uh, pay, uh, an initial $99. And I believe it's like $25 every month after that to have the privilege of keeping your analog meters. The very worst place to have a smart meter is uh, on the wall, uh, adjoining your bedroom because your sleep is when the body rejuvenates, regenerates, and heals. So if you're in this field, right. and I know people, I mean, I can tell you a few stories. I know people that would be waking up every night at 2.20 a.m., every night at 2.20 a.m. And that's Why? when their smart meters were sending out all the information. <sighs> some, some houses are collectors, so it's like they control uh-huh. the smart meter. Oh. And that's when that smart meter was sending out all the data, 2.20 a.m. Oh, every my night. God. He would wake really? up, you know. And and huh. I had a woman come to me. Um, she uh, had a smart meter on her bedroom wall and uh, already stressed from a lot of life situations. So she was vulnerable, and she was getting these huge lumps. Uh, on her chest, and um, she, you know, is freaking out, going to the doctor because it was the beginning sign of cancers. And oh. she had her home checked, and her bedroom was so hot, was so hot oh. from the smart meters and whatever devices, and she had that it was literally killing her. There are devices so you there- can put over your smart meter to, like, okay. you know, kind of Faraday cages. The one, the one of the companies that um, that I use, techn- the patented technology, is called Geo Wellness, and they actually have a smart meter defender. They call it that has in, that embedded in it this patented technology plus a wire mm-hmm. mesh cage, which is like what they call a Faraday cage, which which significantly reduces the exposure. You know, smart meters emit uh, 300, um, 360 degrees. It's out in all directions, oh about 300 feet. So there are some things you can do to cover from the inside. It's a mesh that could reduce it. There's a strategy to create, uh, you know, an, an EMF-free home environment now, which is being called an inspired home, how to create an inspired home, how to create a home okay. that reduces exposure. And it's a layered effect, right? I mean, it's not there's right, not a right. magic wand for one thing. There are You have to right. protect yourself from the Wi-Fi, the electromagnetic frequencies, these microwave radiation frequencies emitted from your phone and from your router and God knows what else. We have baby monitors. We have Bluetooth oh in our cars. We have the, you know, right, right. the echoes. We have, I mean, one of the most dangerous devices, I have to say, is something like the a wearable Wi-Fi stuff. 
the Apple Watches, the Fitbits, which everyone loves, and I don't want anyone to freak out when they hear about this, but the fact of the matter yeah. is this is a Wi-Fi device, and God forbid you're sleeping mm-hmm. with it because it's communicating with your server all the time, 24, you know, with, with Internet service, wherever it's going, it's getting and receiving information 24-7, and you're wearing it. You are wearing yeah. it all the time. And uh, I, I have tested people. I, I do a form of uh, kinesiology testing, and it's like nobody, nobody is uh, responding in a healthy way to those devices when they're on their body without protection. Wow. What about somebody who might have a heart monitor, like they're monitoring their heart, <laughs> you know, because they've had a heart problem? Yes, think about that. A lot oh of gosh. these um, things that people are putting in their bodies now. I just met someone who has a device for his heart to monitor his heart. It's it, it used to be a you know implantable device, right, that had its own battery. Now it's Wi-Fi. It can be monitored by his doctor's office that could be in another city. And you know what? I I never like to talk about a problem unless I can offer a solution. I mean, we can't keep our head in the sand around this one because there's no escape. It's, it's affecting everywhere. us. Yeah. And and the more compromised your health is, so the more stressed you are, the more toxic you are, the the you know less nourished you are, the more you're going to be vulnerable. Because as I said in the beginning, right. this is a very powerful toxin to the body. So it's mm-hmm. going to compromise functioning. It's going to imp- impair and damage your mitochondria. I mean, if we talk about oxidative stress that's caused by the exposure to EMS, our mitochondria, which are the energy batteries in every single cell, uh, determine our life force, determine they're the batteries that keep us going, that keep the body functioning. And we have an epidemic of mitochondrial deficiency now. So mitochondria failure and the greatest oxidative stress that occurs are in the, is in the mitochondria. And EMS wow. create massive amounts of oxidative stress. So the problems mm-hmm. go deep. So staying as healthy as you can be, taking your supplement, exercising, well, well, all those things to help, but then you have to somehow mitigate this exposure or control it somehow. So what can we do? <laughs> Help. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay, so when I talk about this and uh, I've, in the trainings I've done, they have talked about understanding EMS as a public health crisis. So whenever you have a public health crisis, the first thing you have to do, there are three steps. The first thing you have to do is stop the source of the exposure, you know, the contaminated okay. water, let's say, in cholera. So right. in, in, in the case of this uh, epidemic from uh, the effects of uh, Wi-Fi technology, the first thing you have to do is stop the uh, source of damage to your body. So the first step to do is, this is what I have found and this is what I do. So there is a technology from a company called Geo Wellness. Now, this company has been in the field for about 15 years and they Mm -hmm. have patented technology that has been tested, mm-hmm. has been demonstrated. There are many testings that have been done to show that when you use this technology, it is a, uh, I'll explain it as simply as I can. It's like a, it's called a noise field cancellation technology. So we know when okay. we use the Bose, Bose headsets, that's noise cancellation. You go on the plane, you put the Bose headsets on and it reduces the noise, right? That Right, right. On planes. Mm-hmm. It's a similar theory. And it takes, it emits, this technology emits a frequency similar to the frequency of the electromagnetic fields of the Earth. So it's a frequency that mm-hmm. is friendly to the body. And it superimposes mm-hmm. it over the man made frequency, which is not known to the body and therefore, you know, uh, adversely affecting the body, the, every physiological system in the body. So it makes the toxic mm-hmm. frequency invisible and the cells only are responding to and this the the natural electromagnetic field of the body. If that makes right. sense. To you. Okay. So it camouflages yeah. in a sense the dangerous frequency. So your body so the cells do not feel under attack. They don't have to right. shut down their cell membranes. They don't go into that a whole process that leads to massive oxidative stress. It's like, hey, everything is cool now. 
Oh, it's like cells, a, a oh. language. Your body doesn't understand the language of the man-made frequency, but this helps to translate it to something that your body can understand. Is that and correct? Is, and is yes, that's a really great way to say it. And is known and is familiar with, and it's mm-hmm. safe with. Okay, so, so it's, it's not like freaking out. Your cells aren't going. Oh my God, what is this? You know, right? Yeah, exactly. So okay. you know, people say, well, I want like you know blockers on the phone. Well, that's not going to work because you don't get a phone signal yeah. that way. So this is right, this right. Is right. We need the phone signal. <laughs> right. So this technology is stopping the um, the biologic, the adverse biological response within your cells. It okay. has direct that biological effect. Okay. So mm-hmm. um, these are technologies that they um, – actually, there are two technologies in their, their devices. So they call their proprietary technology Geoplex. So one of the technologies is called this molecular resonant effect technology. That's the one that's the noise cancellation. That's the one that the mm-hmm. cells do not perceive. The other technology is called energy resonance technology, which is, again, proprietary technology, technology that is – designed to support, enhance, and strengthen your biofield. So we talked about the okay. biofield in the very beginning of our conversation, that our body has mm-hmm. this this field, this energetic field. Our Every cell emit an electromagnetic field, and this collective right. field is known as our biofield that is our um, f- energy frequency communication with all of life. And mm-hmm. it's, in, it's impaired from exposure to all these damaging frequencies it's under like it's it's like under attack it's experiencing unrelenting stress so what we want there are many things that impair our biofield the ems are just one so toxic mm-hmm. exposures and emotional stresses and you know just just you know everything's affecting right. how our field works that's the basis of yeah. chinese medicine so um the second technology strengthens our biofield, making it more okay. resilient to stress. So it actually okay. enhances our body's ability to, in a sense, heal and repair and be in harmony with with life force. Mm-hmm. Oh, huge that amount sounds of research, good. You, yeah, huge amount of research has gone into the biofield. So the technology has those two mechanisms that. Uh, these are technologies that you put on your phone as a small chip. You can um, mm-hmm. they're, they're tech, this, these chips are also put on the router. On well, I have it on my iMac. I have it on my my Air. I have it on my phone. I have them on my routers. Yes. <laughs> you know, right. I mean, so you I have, have to <laughs> right. And you want yeah. to put these specific devices on. The, the the geoplex technologies on all of the devices that are Wi-Fi. Look, what that we want to do is, these, yeah. yes, you mm-hmm. know, it would be great if we could Ethernet all our systems again. You know, our so our right. computers can be hardwired. That's really the goal. But um, you know, uh, I have I have my uh, my desktop um, hardwired with Ethernet. But you know, I mean, I have a phone. You can't you can't do an Ethernet yeah. through a phone. You know what I mean? So um, yes. you have to cover. And people don't think about their cars because now cars are all Bluetooth. Oh right, all and, Bluetooth. Yeah. Right. And what happens when we have Bluetooth is that it's um, it's it's my it's Wi-Fi technology where our phones are plugged in. So here's something yeah. else to think about: our cars being little metal. You know, to, you know, little rooms that move around, little wounds. Right. Um, metal attracts and amplifies frequencies. That's why oh, I was gosh. horrified to learn that planes were installing Wi-Fi because you're now in a cylindrical metal tube flying for hours. I go to Australia. I I'm sitting in that plane for 17 hours. So the Geoplex technology is embedded in a device called a car harmonizer. It's a stronger field emitted. For the car, specifically for the car, and you can, I put it on my keychain, so when I'm in the car, uh-huh. it's emitting this field, and it, again, is having that effect of protecting yourselves as though this, the toxic frequency was invisible to yourself. Because think about it, when people are in their Bluetooth cars, um, with all the electronics going on, I mean, they find themselves fatigued, 
They find themselves maybe memory loss. They may get headaches right. when they get in their cars and drive for any yes. period of time because, the, again, they're in this field. Wow. Unprotected. You just, once you start thinking about it, you're like, oh, my God, you know, you're walking around in this fog of Wi-Fi, like you said earlier, you know. And and you and, don't necessarily so, put two and two together. Yeah, you don't because you're just living your life. Um, and now, like you said, it's inescapable. You can't get away from it. It's everywhere. So if you have that harmonizer and you have it on your keychain, the car harmonizer, when you walk into, like, say, a Starbucks or something that's Wi-Fi, does that protect you from those, um, you know, those EMFs when you walk Absolutely. around? Absolutely. Okay. Because it, it emits a stronger field than you would have with the smaller devices. So, yes, absolutely. It's like your own little, uh, I like to call it my personal harmonizer because I keep it with me. It's on my keychain, so it's in my purse and my field. Uh-huh. And um, it's just another effect. So going back to those the three levels for uh, for any public health disaster, we you know number one was you've got to stop the damage to the body. And in this case, you've got, you've got to use uh, some sort of technology. I like the geo-wellness technology that actually is stopping harm to your cells. So that's number one. Right. Number two, right. then you have to go in and support the body to recover from the damage, right? So, okay. So that's where um, the, the second technology, this Geoplex, has that um, the ERT, energy resin technology, strengthens the biofield. Well, it also comes in the form of a pendant which I wear 24-7, uh-huh. so that's strengthening okay. the biofield. making So it's like second, second level of defense here, so now you're just strengthening the body's resilience. Um, there mm-hmm. is another device they have called a home harmonizer that has right. this energy resin technology that you plug in. It's not an electrical device, but it plugs into a wall socket, and it neutralizes right. the dirty electricity that's going on in your home because oh. there's another thought. Um, you know, we have all the electrical wiring, which has its own field that interferes with our health. So that's another story. But mm-hmm. what's going on now is that all our these these um, frequencies emitted by our devices are riding. They hop on the electrical wiring, so it creates what they call dirty electricity now. So now these toxic frequencies are traveling throughout the wiring of our homes, emitting a a field that is really incompatible with our health. Think about that. Oh, my god! So this home harmonizer device is you plug it into the wall and it neutralizes the um, dirty electricity effect on the body. And, um, Mm -hmm. you know, I've done tests, my own personal tests, or I plug this thing in, you know, on the other side of the room, and I would have someone hold a really uh, a hot wire from, you know, a device, a data projector that's on or a TV that's running, whatever, whatever that's running through electricity. Uh And uh, when I plug that device in on the, it could be, it has a 60-foot radius, so on the other side of the room, that, that person who was weak when they were holding onto a live wire their muscles went weak because it was a toxic energy. Their body responded adversely, went strong. And so it was pretty interesting. I I, I see the evidence, but but there are studies that demonstrate this. So the second level of defense is we have to support the body in recovering from exposure to these toxins that are... Uh, right, you know, affecting us. So, so we're we're uh, you know this is where some really good nutrition comes in, especially some really good uh-huh. um, antioxidants. Recently, I have found a products that generate molecular hydrogen. Molecular hydrogen is a very powerful free radical that goes after only the dangerous free radicals and and, oh. and penetrates right into the mitochondria to deal with the oxidative stress there. And it comes as a tablet. The one I, I like oh. comes as a tablet that dissolves in water. It fizzes and you drink it. Um, oh, that sounds wonderful. <laughs> so, so, you know, obviously we want to do targeted nutrition that's going to really support the body. And, you know, we, we want to work, you know, I like working with nutrition that helps us sleep and uh, help us to, you know, recover the and balance the neurotransmitters that are impacted. Uh, you know, mm-hmm. I mean... Uh, uh, the EMF su- uh, uh, suppresses the production of serotonin, which is your natural feel-good antidepressant neurotransmitter. It suppresses yes, exactly. Yeah. 
right? So you need to do right. things that are going to, you know, address the body's ability to counter these these effects. So um, and then and so we want to like repair what's been damaged, repair what's been damaged. Right. And then the third level right. is we want to put into place all the strategies that support optimal health for the long term. So that's bringing right. in the exercise and bringing in the high quality organic foods and it's bringing in meditation and all the things mm-hmm. that we know are strategies that support the body's ability to, to thrive. Right. It, it sounds like, I mean, wonderful solutions and it all makes sense and we'll put all the links in our show notes to the Gia Wellness to your site uh, Cheryl uh, which is whatwomenmustknow.com you have a lot of great um, articles on there there's another article that you just wrote that was published uh, in a magazine about EMFs I will put that in the show notes um, this is just fascinating and really, really important and great information. And I, I want to thank you so much, Dr. Selman, for coming on the show and giving us all this information. Um, and there's so much more to go, and we're going to have you back on to talk about this and other things. But let's get to know a little bit more about you. Um, so I want to ask the questions that I ask all my guests. Um, obviously, how you stay of sound mind and body, besides doing all these things that you've just told us about, protecting your, your health and your wellness and your well-being, what are some other things that you do just to stay healthy, balanced, and well of mind, body, and spirit? Um, <laughs> well, uh, you lots of uh, things. I'm, yeah, you know, where do I begin? Um, I meditate every morning. So I get up uh-huh. and I just, that's the first thing I do, and I've done it for years. And personally, meditation is such a foundational practice that I would love to see all of us do because the science is in. It's affecting our brains. It's affecting our creativity. It's def- affecting our health. <laughs> meditation yes. is so important. So uh, I would say first and foremost, it's meditation on uh, as a committed discipline on a daily basis for me. Right. Okay. Yeah, I do that every morning too. I love it. I mean, there are some mornings I miss and I totally, you know, I miss it. You know, I, I under, I feel like I didn't start my day off right. Um, okay. So what is a favorite sound of yours? I think, Hmm. You know, when I think about that, there are a lot of sounds I love, but I would say my favorite sound or non-sound is silence. Oh, I love that. I, think, I love that. You know, that. it's such you a know, rare well, experience, yeah. right? Rare experience. so I true. Mean, silence. We don't especially have these silence days. anymore, especially these days. We, we have, you know, and I and silence, you know, you go deep when you go into silence. Precious. Deep. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Okay, what's a favorite memory of yours? Something that comes to mind. Well, I'm going to I'm going to uh share a future memory if I may because I'm about to surprise my mother for her 94th birthday party. So, um oh. I'm not telling her I'm flying in and I'm going to just show oh up gosh. at her party where her friends are making her this party for her 94th birthday. So that's uh, so when I oh. think about that, that's that's going that's my future best memory that I will be having. Oh, that sounds amazing. And where does your mother live? She's in New Jersey. And it was a tough oh. year for her. She was in hospice and you know, I'm really blessed as a naturopath. Oh. I have lots of resources. So wow. she graduated from hospice, which is a miracle. As what they say, they she graduated from hospice. Wow, that hospice. is. Yes, and she's uh, doing really well, and uh, so it's like a precious time. So I'm I'm, oh. I'm going to surprise her. I'm not telling her I'm coming, and just show up at her party. So I hope I, I can't hope wait her heart to can hear about it. it. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's going to yeah. be wonderful. So, I ho- yeah, that'll we'll, be great. We'll hear about it the next time we have you on. We'll hear about that for sure. For um, sure. Okay, what's a favorite place of yours? Now that's a really tough one because I I have some um 
uh, I've lived 18 years in Australia, and Australia is just magic oh. for me. So I love Australia. But having said that, um, I've also spent time in New Zealand, and that's just the, one of the most amazing, magnificently beautiful countries in the world. And um, yeah. I, I've also had some special times in Peru, up in the Andes and the Amazon, and my other special places, um, Costa Rica now. So I, I'm sorry, oh, but wow. I can't give you one. <laughs> I've been very blessed. I have <laughs> they many. all sound amazing. <laughs> they all sound out. I haven't been, well, I've been to Australia, but I haven't been to the other three and. I know uh, they're on my list for sure. Um, okay, so the final question, what's the most woo-woo thing you've ever done? Oh, that's easy. I The most <laughs> woo-woo thing I've ever done is spent um, a week in the Amazon jungle with the shaman experiencing the plant medicine ceremonies with ayahuasca. Oh, my goodness. So tell us, tell us, how was that? Oh, uh, f- profound, life-changing, and it, I mean, it was beautiful. Wow. We were on a tributary of the Amazon River. It was built right, you know, along the river, and I mean, it was, you know, it. I, we were in the jungle. We were living, you know, Whoa. not really much electricity, and it was all the structures were all connected by boardwalks. So when the Amazon came up, you know, <laughs> when the water came up, yeah. it, 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 you know, you'd be above it. I mean, and they were like, you know, 15 feet above. <laughs> <laughs> the ground, wow. so the water goes up that high. But uh, I mean, there were nights when those frogs were so loud, and they're all around us, and they're all different frogs, and you know the butterflies, oh and I mean it, it, the pink dolphins jumping out of the water <gasps> uh, in oh, front of us. Oh my goodness! It was a very magical time, and then we had this time with these uh, traditionally trained shaman in the tradition of that of the ayahuasca medicine doing ceremony. So it was it was like you're in another reality. We were in another reality oh my on many God. levels. Yeah. I very can't beautiful. Imagine. But it sounds it sounds like frighteningly uh enticing. And <laughs> that's all I can say. You yeah, know, you know, I'm just amazing. you know, I'm kind of a I'm a junkie for experiences. I think we right. really grow when we experience new things. When we step out of the norm our and, zone. And, and our comfort yeah. zone and our habits and we explore new places, new things, new, just new environments, uh, you know, we, we create new brain cells. You know, they've been, it's been shown that when you do something habitually, your oh. brain doesn't grow anymore. But every time yeah. you do something new, you experience something mm-hmm. new, you're literally creating new connections in your brain. So you, you expand your intelligence. So I'm, you know, I'm wow. always for new experiences, and uh, you know, sometimes I'm a daredevil, but not always. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah, it sounds amazing. <laughs> well, oh my gosh, we have so much more to talk about with you, Dr. Selman, and we are going to have you back um, for all of our listeners. Uh, the website is WhatWomenMustKnow.com. She has multiple books out. Um, the latest being about uh, what is your latest book? It's, um, it's called the Hemp Health Revolution. The A to Z, A to Z, A to Z benefits health benefits of hemp extract. Oh wow! And you know that is a big issue right now too. Huge. Um, it's huge. There's also what women must know about for to protect their daughters from breast cancer, uh, hormone heresy. What women must know about their hormones. They're, those are just the latest, some of the latest books that you've written. And I can't wait to have you back on, Dr. Selman. And thank you so much for this very valuable information. And we will be um, working on protecting ourselves from these things. Thanks to you. Well, thank you for having me. And, and my hope is that people really do take this conversation to heart. And it's so inexpensive to be proactive and uh, to really get the benefit. And, you know, it's it's not a luxury to be protecting ourselves. It's really a necessity these days. So thank you so much for allowing me to have this conversation with you. Well, that's it for this episode. And wow, that was a lot of information. So you might want to listen to it again, actually, or try to see the movie Generation Zapped. If you go online, you can find a, maybe find a location that's showing in your area. And, you know, let us know what you did to protect your health from the effects of EMFs in your life. Send us a voice memo or 
email to podcast at soundmindbodypodcast.com. Thank you for listening. And please subscribe if you haven't already. And if you like the podcast, give us a review on iTunes. It really helps new listeners find us. Thank you to our producer, Tim Edwards, and the Inbound Podcasting Network. And thank you so much to our guest, Dr. Cheryl Selman. Get in touch. I'm on Instagram at Sound Mind Body Podcasts, on Twitter at Sheila Melanie One, or find us on the web, on Facebook or website. Just search for Sound Mind Body Podcasts. I'm Sheila Melody. Join us next week as we explore, enlighten, and evolve.